Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are gonna be making a startup script for System D. So let's get started. Now in my last video where I created this Plex dashboard for our system, I might have accidentally cut out the part where we were gonna create a startup script for the Pi Plex, which I'm gonna be covering today. So let's get into it. Now over here, I'm gonna to have to SSH root into my server. And I know you guys last time were saying that I was doing sudo and I was ready in root. Uh, I, it's just a common thing that I accidentally do. Uh, since I'm ready in root, I don't need to do sudo. I, I understand that. It's just, I type it ahead of time. Just so many times I, I do that. But anyway, to get into this, I wrote a little tiny, like a reminder for myself. Again, I'll put this in a paste bin so you guys could see what I did over here, but I'll explain as I'm going along. Now, let me clear the screen. All right. So following the last video, I have my program in opt called Plex Collector, right? And the script that we want to run, it's actually called plexcollector.py. Now I'm gonna copy this so I remember. And because I need to know where the location is, you could either do PWD just to get the location. I'm gonna save that as well so I don't accidentally type the wrong thing. But uh, and some of you guys were asking what operating system this is. This is elementary OS and it's on the Pathion um, desktop environment that they make. I've been testing it out recently and I'm actually really liking it. I got everything that I want to work on it, including games and also uh, video editors. But besides that point, all right, the next step we need to do is to make a file. So I can make it anywhere. This is gonna be the startup script itself. So I'm gonna make it actually in the uh, Plex collector because we're gonna to have to move it later, but I'll make it right here. So I'm gonna to touch plexpy.service. That's the file that I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna nano plexpy.service. Now in here, there's three system startup things that we need to know. The unit, and this will be a placeholder for our name. And we could just name this Plex Pi Collector. And here you could actually add more stuff, which we're not going to, but you can make it so it starts up the script after network target or something. So if you require the network to be running before the script is running, this is where you would set it. As far as service, this is what you're trying to boot up. And in service area, you could actually, let's do the execution start first. And this is the script that we're going to be running. Now, because it's a Python script, we do have to issue the Python command. So user bin Python, then to the script itself, which is opt plex collector, plex collector dot pi. And that should be able to start the script. Now in service, you could also do a couple of things. Like if there's a restart failure, you want it to restart automatically, or you want the service to start 30 seconds after it's been called or stuff like that. Uh, you could issue it over here. There's also a shutdown command. So if your script has um, like start all or uh, turn off all or something like that, you could issue a stop command. We're not gonna get too detailed into it because all we need to do is just start the script. And install, which is the last area, is wanted by now this we could do multi-user we could do a single user we could do it so it's only for that specific user uh, for us usually the way to go is to use multi-user target this way i'll just boot up the system and anybody would have it and that is about it for that script we're going to save this and we're going to actually cp plexpy service to etc system d system and now you should actually have a service called pi plex pi now to start that up is system ctl start plex pi that service is how it automatically auto complete it because it found that file in there now to make sure that it is running you could just hit status and right now it says failed which means something has happened that didn't allow it to work. Now it says loading config I and I, unable to load config I and I. So I'm gonna look into this. It's in the correct spot. The config file is there, 
which means that I might need to add working directory because it's thinking it's working off another directory. So let's uh, nano plexpy that service. We're going to add working directory directory and we're going to put this as opt plex collector save this and we're going to cp this back into the service directory so etc system the system and it's going to overwrite that file so let's try to start it again now it's asking me for daemon reload let's start it now and check out the status and there we have it now it's running okay so now that we know that everything is loaded what we can do now is enable it so it boots up with the system so we do that with system ctl enable plex pi dot service and that's it and if you want to ever disable it because you don't want that service anymore you just have to system ctl and disable that service and it'll disable it from the startup group okay so just to show you guys that it is running you could see that i have two plex streams that's because i had two browsers working um and it's come up with a list of how many active streams that it's happening so that python script and the startup script is exactly working because it's running in the background to update this data so that is about it every time when i boot up the system this script will run anyway if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you guys have any questions about this hit them down in the comments below and if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave hack till it hurts